Welcome to this video on using the range function, which is used a lot with loops. My name's Andy Wicks, and in this video we're going to look at the basic use of the range function. There are some more interesting little variations that we'll come to later on, but let's start at the beginning. But let's have a look at this particular piece of code here. The range function produces a list of numbers, and you'd expect it to be, given that the command is range 6, the numbers 1 to 6. But this is programming, so no, it doesn't do that. What it does is produce the numbers 0 to 5. It produces six numbers, but it starts at 0. And so what you get is one less than the number that you put in to the range function as the highest value that you get out. So here we have a list of numbers from 0 to 5, not 1 to 6. And that's a basic principle in computing. But we can use the range function in a slightly more interesting way. For example, we can use the range with a start and stop value. So it will start at minus 2, but still stop at 5. Let me show you. Here, range minus 2 to 6 produces the values minus 2 to 5, because that 0 is in there. It creates the right number of items, but not quite in the way that you'd expect. You've got to remember about that zero. Now let's look at the third and final method that we'll be using here. Here we're asking for the range of numbers between minus two and five, but we're going up in steps of two. So when I run this piece of code, I get minus two, zero, two, four. The 5 doesn't happen because that's not an even number. And since we started with an even number, that doesn't work. So now we've got a range of numbers between minus 2 and 5 going up in steps of 2. That 2 shows how big a jump you make. Now I've got one final piece of code to show you, and this code doesn't work. Let's say I wanted the numbers between 1.2 and 1.8 going up in steps of 0.1. You'd think that should be OK. There's nothing particularly complicated there. I just want to go up in decimal points values. But unfortunately, that doesn't work. The range function assumes integers. It will only work with whole numbers. It will not work with decimal places. So if you wanted something like this, what do you do? Well, what you do is you cheat intelligently. Let me show you. If you wanted something like that, what you would do is use the range 12 to 18. And then when you're using the range values, you just divide each answer by 10. That way you get rid of the decimal point in the range function and you still get the increments that you need for whatever it is you're doing, where you need that 0.1. But this is explained in a bit more detail in the next video.